Elle portait de belles jupettes Georges préférait son derrière Sa bicyclette était verte Et son guide de travers Marinette était simple Bonjour et bienvenue à notre leçon numéro 2 That's right, welcome to our lesson number 2 Now, what we are going to do together today is uh, go through some revision, okay, and go over the words that you have learned over lesson one. I will correct the quiz from lesson one and introduce you to two new parts. One part will be the days of the week and the second one is going to be the numbers from one to ten. This way, you will be able to tell me the days Uh, sorry, the dates. Every time we meet again at every lesson, I will ask you how you are, what's the weather it's li is like and the date as well. Okay, so what I'm doing at the moment is introducing you to very basic words, okay, that will help you set into some kind of routine before introducing you, obviously, to uh, more complicated Things, if you wish. Okay? Right. On commence. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Alexa. Comment ça va? Moi? Ça va bien. Quel temps fait-il? Hmm, il... Pleut. Il fait froid. Où j'habite J'habite en Angleterre, à Londres. Mm -mm, ça va bien. Bonjour. Hello. Comment ça va How are you Aujourd'hui, today, ça va bien. But what about you Comment ça va Ça va bien Ça va mal Ou ça va comme si Comme ça Tell me, how are you feeling today hmm? I'm glad. Dites-moi, quel temps fait-il aujourd'hui dehors What is the weather like today outside Dehors You could start the sentence by saying dehors, il pleut. We've learned this before. Il pleut. Or you could say dehors, il fait beau. Il fait beau. And I said something at the very beginning of this lesson. I said il fait froid, il pleut, il fait froid. What do you think that means? Uh -huh. Il fait froid. Brrr. It's cold. So, quel temps fait-il? Il pleut et il fait froid. Brrr. Il fait froid. But if it's hot and sunny, you would say Il fait beau et il fait chaud. And the word for hot is chaud. Can you say that? Chaud. Très bien. So, Two words today. Froid, cold, chaud, hot. So, tell me, quel temps fait-il? What is the weather like? Quel temps fait-il? Look out in your windows and tell me what the weather is like. Il pleut. Il fait beau. Il fait froid. Il fait chaud. Mm -hmm. Well done. Bravo. Keep practicing this because I will ask you uh, these very basic questions every time I see you. So, aujourd'hui, today, aujourd'hui, nous allons apprendre les jours de la semaine et les nombres. That's right. Today, we are going to learn the days of the week and the numbers. Okay? Aujourd'hui. Today. Can you say that? Aujourd'hui. Uh -huh. Bravo. Good pronunciation. Aujourd'hui. Okay? That's today. 
Right, I would like to start with by correcting the quiz of lesson number one. So, here we go. First of all, I asked you, how do you say, how are you? Now, obviously, the correct answer was, comment ça va? Comment ça va? Now, the second question was, I live in England. J'habite en Angleterre was the correct answer. J'habite en Angleterre. Now, if you've uh, noticed at the very beginning of this lesson, I said, j'habite en Angleterre à Londres. Okay, so I've added in London. When you want to tell me exactly where you live, not only the country but the town you come from, then add a. Okay, a. It's an a with an accent. You can check that on your files, you know, your PDF files, your downloadable worksheets. Now, a. Okay, so if you lived in, for example, Paris in France, you would say j'habite à Paris. En France, ou j'habite en France à Paris, ok? Or you could say, j'habite à Madrid en Espagne. Can you see that? Ok, so if you want to tell me where you live in terms of country, you say en, ok? But we've noticed over the lesson one that it's not only en, it can be au as well. And if you want to tell me where you live in terms of a town, you say à, ok? So... That's that sorted. Okay? Now, the third question to the quiz number one was, how do you say it's sunny? Well, we know that, don't we? Il fait beau. Can you say that? Il fait beau. Okay. Hopefully you managed the quiz of lesson number one with no problems. I mean, I can't imagine where you went wrong. Okay? Uh, it was pretty simple. As I said to you at the beginning of this lesson, I would like to introduce you to two things, very simple things. First of all, days of the week, so that every time I see you, you can tell me the dates, okay? Um, so we will learn the month of the year at some point, okay? Uh, but today, days of the week. So, what do you know about the days of the week in French? In English, they go like this. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, Sunday. Okay, that's pretty easy. And we know that uh, though the beginning is not the same, the end of the word is de. Okay, what you have to remember in French is that uh, de becomes the sound d in French and it's spelled d i. Okay, and it works for six days of the week. The last day being Sunday begins with the sound d. Okay, so I want you, first of all, to just listen to the days of the week, okay? I'm not asking you to learn them. Just listen and see whether there is some kind of patterns that you can get used to, okay? Now, listen to the days of the week, starting from Monday. Lundi. Mardi. Mercredi. Jeudi. Vendredi. Samedi. Dimanche. Okay, so these are the days of the week. Quite simple. Did you manage to uh, remember any of this? Or is there one more striking than the other? No? Okay, well, never mind. We are going to learn them now, okay? Uh, when I teach my classes here in London to my little ones, when I say little ones, I mean, you know, my pupils in school, uh, they tend to remember samedi quite well, which is Saturday, probably because it starts with the same Saturday, or say samedi. But funnily enough, another, another uh, day is mercredi. Mercredi is 
Wednesday. And I've, I'm always quite amazed at how they can remember this word because it doesn't sound anything like Wednesday. It's mercredi. And not only that, it has three syllables. It's very hard to, to uh, remember a word. So I'm, I'm quite puzzled by that. Now, let's have a look which one you can remember. Now, repeat after me. Répétez après moi. Moi being me. Now, répéter means repeat. Après moi. Okay? After me, quite simply. Are you ready? Here we go. Lundi. Bravo. Mardi. Mercredi. Jeudi. Vendredi. Samedi. Dimanche. Okay. So, are you getting there? Can you tell me which word you remembered? Uh-huh. Well done. Now, I find that the hardest one to remember, funnily enough, is mardi. And i tell you why. Because I think mardi sounds very much like Monday. And we think that mardi is Monday. But it's not. Mardi is Tuesday. Okay? So, here we go again. I would like you to repeat the uh, days of the week with me one more time and then we will play with them. Lundi. Mardi. Mercredi. Jeudi. Vendredi. Samedi. Dimanche. Well done. Bravo. What can I say? Now tell me. What days do you remember? Uh-huh. Parfait. Well done. I mean, I don't expect you to know them by heart now. It's, uh, it's too soon. Okay. Uh, it took me quite a while to, uh, to achieve uh, this objective as to know the seven days of the week in English. Very hard in term of pro terms of pronunciation. Okay. The, the worst one being um, Wednesday. I mean, even the spelling is odd. When does this day? Anyway, so I have my issues as well, by the way. Okay, here we go. Here's the game. I'm going to say the days of the week and miss one out. Can you tell which one I've missed out? Now listen carefully. Écoutez bien. Lundi, mardi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. So, uh -huh, it was mercredi. My children's favorite, uh, my children, my pupils' favorite uh, word, mercredi. Okay, well done. Here's another one. Listen carefully. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, samedi, dimanche. Uh -huh, I missed out Friday, which was vendredi. Very good. Vendredi. Okay, well done. Okay, now here's another uh, little game. If I say mardi, what day is that? Yes, that's right. It's Tuesday. Bravo. If I say dimanche, uh -huh, this is Sunday. I know dimanche because it doesn't sound like the other. It doesn't end with D, but it starts with D. Okay, uh, which means in Latin, I think, day, day. Okay, D. Another one, attention, if I say vendredi. Uh -huh. Vendredi is Friday. Very good. Gosh, you're good. <laughs> Bravo. Okay, so here we go. We've played with the uh, uh, days of the week. I invite you to, uh, not my house, no, not my party. I invite you to repeat the words on your own and practice. Okay. So, what we are going to do today, I'm going to ask you some questions around these uh, days of the week. For example, c'est quel jour? What day is it? C'est quel jour? Uh -huh. Aujourd'hui, today, aujourd'hui, c'est mardi. It is, c'est. Aujourd'hui, c'est mardi. Now I'm asking you, c'est quel jour? Oui, très bien. Aujourd'hui, c'est Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Ok? C'est quel jour? Can you say that? C'est quel jour? 
Parfait. OK. Another question. Quel est ton jour préféré? Now, what do you think I'm asking you here? That's right. What is your favorite day? Préféré, preferred. Quel est, what is, quel est ton jour préféré? What is your favorite day? Uh -huh. Mon jour préféré est le samedi. Oh, J'adore le samedi. Mon jour préféré est le samedi. Now, what about you? Quel est ton jour préféré? Now, start the sentence by Mon jour préféré est And then tell me the days of the week. Est means is, but we will learn that uh, at a later stage. Mon jour préféré est lundi. Ok. I don't like lundi. Mm, don't like the beginning of the week. I don't. Ok. So, here it is. Let's have a little bit of recap on the days of the week. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Aujourd'hui, c'est mardi. Mon jour préféré est samedi. Quel est ton jour préféré? Très bien. Ok. I am going to ask you to revise this, okay, because I will ask you in lesson number three and I will check whether you've done your homework, okay? So, let's go into uh, the numbers now and I would like to introduce you to the numbers. Of course, we are going to see the numbers from not from one to one million, uh, one million, no, uh, just the one from ten will be enough to start with. Okay, I mean the days of the week today was quite a lot, um, so let's stick to the one to ten. You might know how to count already, which is fine. Okay, uh, we will learn obviously uh, numbers to a million. Okay, eventually at the end of this uh, packet of lessons, you know, this uh, lesson course, if you call it course. Um, now, here we go. I'm going to do the same for the days of the week. So I'm going to say the numbers from one to ten. I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. First of all, listen to the numbers to one to ten without reading anything, without uh, Just listen. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. Hey, finished. Okay, did you remember any of the words? Any of the numbers? No, not at all? Or a few? Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's go through them uh, again. So, now, répétez après moi. Répétez après moi. Un. Deux. Trois. Quatre. Cinq. Six. Sept. Huit, neuf, dix. Okay, very good. Um, if I look at the numbers, I don't think, in terms of pronunciation, I don't think there is um, any that come out as strikingly difficult to pronounce. I would say maybe quatre would be the hardest because you've got this re sound that French people uh, use all the time. Uh, so we don't say re, we say r. Can you say that? R. So when, when you uh, come to say four, it's quatre. Quatre. Okay? Quatre. And if you look at the word, it sounds very much or it looks very much like water. 
quarter, yeah? Quatre, OK? So here we go. Repeat after me one more time. Écoutez attentivement et répétez après moi. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit. 9, 10. Well done. Bravo. Très bien. Very good. Très bien. OK. So, uh, here's a little game. OK. I'm going to do the same as I did with the days of the week. I'm going to miss one number out. Can you tell me which one is missing? Écoutez. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> yes, that's right. Numéro 4 was missing. 4, OK. Now, here we go again. Instead of one number, I'm going to miss two out. So, watch out. Not sure I can do that. OK, listen carefully. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, 10. That was hard. Even hard for me to do. Okay, which one we're missing? Uh -huh, that's right. Numéro 5 et numéro 8. Okay, number 5 and 8 we're missing. Numéro 5 et le numéro 8. I would like now for you to repeat the um, numbers, sorry, from 1 to 10, okay, over and over and over again. I mean, uh, practice them and practice them the other way around as well, from 10 to 1 if you can, okay? We can do that together. Um, so, for example, you could say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so that's quite a hard exercise uh, to do. So you go from 1 to 10 and 10 to 1. Okay, um, now I'm just thinking when I said the number 3, I realized that actually 4 is quite hard to pronounce, but 3 is going to be quite a challenge. So in, if you want to pronounce 3 properly, pronounce it T, R, W, with a W sound. So T, R, W. Te re -wa. Trois. Okay, can you say that? Okay, well, practice. I know it's hard. It's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Okay, trois. Superb. Bravo. You're a master of number trois. Superb. Okay, that's cool. Uh, that's pretty much the end of my lesson. Before I do that, I would like to recap a little bit of what we've seen over lesson numéro deux. Bonjour ou salut, je m'appelle Alexa. Aujourd'hui, c'est mardi. Il pleut et il fait froid. J'habite en Angleterre, à Londres. Aujourd'hui, c'est le 5 mars. OK? So, hopefully you've understood everything I say. Why don't you try it yourself, OK? With everything you've got here, why don't you tell me, quel est ton jour préféré? What's your favorite day? Mon jour préféré est, OK? You could say, comment tu t'appelles? What is your name? Je m'appelle, and so on, OK? So, work on these little uh, questions. Quel temps fait-il? What is the weather like? Comment tu t'appelles? What is your name? Comment ça va? How are you? Quel est ton jour préféré? What is your favorite day? And so on. Or I could say, quel est ton nombre préféré? What's your favorite number? I don't know. Mon nombre préféré est le numéro 3. 3. 
because it's harder to pronounce. That's why I've chosen this one. Okay, so work on what we've covered so far. So far, it's pretty basic, okay? And it's going to be part of the routine of our next 45 lessons. Well, should I say 43 lessons now, okay? <laughs> Okay, I think it's time now to uh, to have another little quiz. We will have a quiz at every single lesson, which I will correct the following lesson. Okay, quiz numéro 2, quiz number 2. Listen carefully. I'm going to ask you to do a little bit of uh, calculation here, addition or adding. Okay, so what is 3 plus 5? What is 3 plus plus 5. Okay, I'm asking you to add two numbers here. I'm not going to tell you what they are. What is 3 plus 5? Okay, numéro 2. What is 6 plus 1? 6 plus 1. When I say plus, by the way, it means plus, you, you know, add. Numéro 3. What is 2 plus 4? What is 2 plus 4? Uh -huh. Et last but not least, what is 7 plus 3? What is 7 plus 3? Okay, so you've got these on your downloadable uh, worksheet, okay? And if you are listening to me without one, that's not a problem. I repeat them very quickly. 3 plus 5, 6 plus 1, 2 plus 4, 7 plus 3. Okay, I will correct this uh, during lesson numéro 3. Okay, now uh, what are we going to do in the next lesson? We are going to do obviously a bit of uh, revision and also uh, discover some very important words and the alphabet. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to say A, B, C, D and so on in French and introduce you to um, common adjectives. Okay, so at one point over the next two or three lessons, you'd be able to describe yourself. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it, I think. When I say goodbye in French, I say au revoir. Can you say that? Au revoir. I could say salut if you want. Salut, au revoir, à bientôt. That means see you soon. À bientôt. Au revoir, salut, à bientôt. Bye. <laughs>